The term political correctness, now used solely by those who seek to subvert its aims, has become synonymous with weakness and the repression of the truth and of breadth of thought. This tabloid caricature of political correctness, which looks to define it as a loathing of ordinary people and a freedom of speech, has come to form the basis of much of our contemporary understanding of political correctness. I wish to submit that while political correctness has indeed demonstrated its capacity as a force for censorship through its attempts to uh, introduce a dictionary of acceptable words into everyday speech, it would be short-sighted to label it as bad for diversity on this premise alone. A universally respectful expression of opinion and social interaction is at the core of political correctness, and these principles are too essential in the sustainable diversity of thought, colour, creed, sexuality and age and other groups that exist in British society. The problem that we face with political correctness lies more in its implementation than its intentions. The censorial tendencies of political correctness often belittle the groups that it seeks to protect and promotes hostility rather than helping to phase out offensive terminology in everyday speech through understanding and discourse. Before we accept then our inflated tabloid satirisation, let us consider that political correctness is a concept worth preserving for the sake of diversity, but to achieve its goal of respectful speech, its approach requires a refocus which allows for a better understanding and not censorship.